Hey everyone, it's J Rock, and today we're building another fungus farm. So, let's get right into it. Go ahead and pause the video, take a look at all the materials here that you're going to need. And this is to build just a three wide version. If you want to build any larger than that, uh, then you will need some more of these, some more redstone, and a few more repeaters. But for now, let's grab all this stuff right here and we can get started. Now, come out and find a spot and you're going to dig out a 9 by 3 area. And on one side, wherever you want your water to flow, grab your trap doors and place them just like that and open them. And on each side, you're going to put a water source and that's going to turn the middle into its own water source. Come back through here and place down your either crimson or warp nylium. And then once you get to the fourth row, dig out the center block. And that's where you're going to put your dispenser facing directly up. And after that, you need to decide, and you can change this later, but decide whether you want the warp fungus more or the crimson fungus more. I'm going to start with the crimson, so I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to replace this all the rest of the way down. Then I'm going to take these two rows out and take out a spot there. And take a little bit out there. And this is where we're going to put our chests. And grab three of your hoppers, and we'll go ahead and run one hopper into that and two into the rest of it. And we don't have to worry about cutting this off with blocks or glass because the water flow will stop right at the edge. It'll go seven blocks and then stop. Now, over on this side is where we need to start with some of our redstone stuff. So let's grab that. We don't need that or the water anymore. We're done with the dispenser. So we'll go ahead and grab all of our redstone stuff. And I almost forgot, we need to put the bone meal line into the uh, dispenser. So come to the opposite side that your redstone is going to go. So I'm going to do mine off to this side. And dig down into your one below the nylium and take that block out right there. Hold shift and place a hopper going into there. One more coming up and a th your third one coming up to the top. After that, go ahead and place either one or two chests and we'll fill that up with bone meal and that will keep our dispenser right below there stocked up now back to the redstone off to the side here the opposite side that you put your bone meal right here we're going to put a lever and we want to go ahead and dig out a little bit around it so we can get down below and we're going to dig up all the way up until we're one past this, so right here's our water, and we want to dig that out, three blocks over, and get your redstone torch and place one under each. That will power the trap doors and make sure they stay open until we want them to. So then, come in here and take out that row of six blocks, and that's where we're going to put three repeaters going into the side and and three redstone dust with one coming back up out of the top after that take this out four more blocks two three four and take this all the way back up to here so this is also going to come out five blocks in total so there's one two three four five and if you've done this right on a flat area, you should be just one block below the surface. If you're any more or less, that's fine. You fill in whatever you don't want to see of the redstone. But I'll get this cleared out and be back in just a second. Okay, so I got all this cleared out, and I went ahead and lit it up a little bit so we could actually see what we're doing. Now we come back up to the area with our lever, and right next to it, we're going to put a sticky piston with a redstone block next to it. So that will be our toggleable switch on and off and over here we're going to put two lines of redstone dust our comparator 
with another redstone dust off to the side and one in the front. Now, if you followed all these dimensions, you should be able to run a redstone line directly there and run it straight into your dispenser. After that, you're going to run four repeaters, all on four ticks up here, and two redstone there, and connect this up to your redstone line going to your repeaters down here. After that, get five more repeaters, all on four ticks, all the way back to the starting line, and everything's done. Just close this up however you like. I like to use red stained glass for this. I think it fits for the nether vibe and uh, doesn't interfere with any of the chests. All you need is to be able to access your lever. So as long as you give yourself a way to come down here and access that, or you can even route the redstone signal up somewhere different. But if we look at all the timing and everything, the water goes away just in time for the bone meal to dispense. And we can see there we got our first crimson fungus. And if something like this happens, you can either build that up around it, or if you're finding that you're getting just a ton of items come through, then you can take that out a going to hop her into each side and make these hoppers run into those. So that way it'll be like triple hopper speed, uh, just as fast as they can pick up from there. Uh, you'll still want to put that over top of it though. Yeah, from here just give yourself a way down to the chest, a way to access the power, you can see we still got a um, a warped fungus in there. So yeah, once you've got that, you can come over wherever you need to uh, build your nether trees. Build those up to get whatever crimson or warped goods that you may want or the shroom lights, or whatever you need to use this for, and this will give you all of those nether funguses or nether saplings. And all you have to do is just let it run for a while, and if it turns out you want more of the crimson or the warp nylium, all you have to do is come in and change that out, and whatever block the bone meal lands on first is what you'll get more of. So you see now we're starting to get some of the warped um, warped roots instead of the crimson and there's some warped fungus coming through already you can just let this run for a little while and you'll get as much of whatever it is that you need and if you don't have any use for the crimson or warped roots you can just grab them out or hook them up to an item filter that runs them over into a composter and have a uh, kind of slow refill but a refill nonetheless of your bone meal. Like I said, run that redstone line up wherever you want. And if you wanted to do this as an AFK type of thing where nothing went into a hopper, you can definitely do that. So there's just a design right here. Instead of a row of hoppers there, you would just put another row of uh, crimson or warp nylium and put one water source at the end and you stand here on a pressure plate instead of the lever and all that will funnel straight into your inventory if you need to get a few of these quickly um, this design's good but you do have to be there and look just in the time we've been here it's already gotten 16 of those and one of those and I think we still had four plus we used two over there so six of them and all you gotta do change that out now we'll start getting the crimson stuff again so that's it hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like if you end up using this in your world let me know in the down in the comments and if you want to see more stuff like this make sure you subscribe thanks for watching see ya